Now, our subject, our most dreaded question is, what the hell is a mole? What the hell is this mole thing? Mole. Written like this. Mole. Hmm? What the hell is this? Well, um, the mole concept you have heard uh, is uh, pronounced with chemistry, with molecules, with atoms, and one may easily think that it is just, it's something related, of course, it is obvious, with chemistry, but it is not to be used anywhere else, not to be pronounced, not to be heard, not to be uh, talked about. Well, the truth is just the opposite. The concept, mol, is just, is just a counting number, just like the concept of a dozen. For example, what do we say when we talk about roses? I, I made a surprise for my girlfriend with a dozen roses or more. Well, we say, when we say a dozen, one dozen roses, I make mistakes too. One dozen roses. We mean twelve roses, right? Twelve roses. One dozen roses means twelve roses. They are equal. Mole is just a concept like dozen. I mean, we count roses with dozens. We can, we are synthetically and grammatically and logically exactly right to write down something like this. One more roses. This is exactly right. There is no logical, grammatical, synthetical mistake here. No fault here. This is exactly right. And this means, one more means, in short, I'm writing in the short form, there's a longer form, but we will de deal with it later. 6 times 23 to the power of 10 roses. This is the equality. You may count roses with dozens, you may count the same roses with moles. Which in turn means 6, to the, 6 times 23 to the power of 10 means from mathematics, I guess you will remember, or you may look it up. Six. After six, we have something like 23 zeros here. <laughs> 23 zeros we have here. This is this much, a very, very large number, trillion, million, trillion times rows, trillions of roses. And this is exactly right. We have no fault here. We may even write down one more humans. There is no mistake here. But the sum, I mean, 6 times 23 to the power of 10 humans is a very, very large number. I mean, uh, where will you, um, how will you deal, deal with that number of humans? Huh? But they are exactly right. I have no mistake here. I can write this now like this. This is mole. The concept of mole is related with chemistry, but you can use it here with roses, with humans, with whatever you want. But since mole is such a large counting number, unlike dozen, which is only 12, a mole is 6 million, trillion, million. Uh, for this reason, we better count not roses, not humans with mole, but very, very small things with mole. For example, if we say one mole sand particles, particles, I guess we can gather these up some way. One mole of sand particles, which means six. We can write it in the longer form, 6, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 23 zeros, 
sand particles. Given the average weight or volume of a sand particle, we may even calculate how much this will weigh or how uh, which volume uh, will it uh, it will occupy. Uh, that that's another problem. That's another topic. We may deal with it later. Now we have one more sand particles here that can that is reasonable. It can be count. And what is an atom? An atom is smaller than a sand particle. I guess a sand particle contains millions of atoms. Huh? So uh, if you gather one mole of atoms, say carbon, hmm? carbon atoms together, this is six times twenty-three to the power of ten carbon atoms. This much carbon atom. Do you know how many grams does this weigh? You may have seen something like this on, on your periodic table. Carbon equals to 12 or something like this. Huh? That number 12 is the atomic number of carbon and is almost, almost, almost the weight of this much of carbon. I mean, one more carbon atoms is six zero 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 twenty three zeros. Here we have twenty three zeros here carbon atoms, and this weighs. One mole of carbon atoms weighs weigh only about 12 grams. You can write it down. One mole carbon atoms equals to 12 grams. I mean, scientists have gathered this much carbon atom and weighted them up and so that one mole, about one mole of carbon atoms weigh ten, uh, 12 grams. One mole of carbon atom means, means one mole, we can write down what is one mole, like as a dozen is 12, dozen means 12, mole means Six times twenty-three to the power of ten carbon atoms. Wait, I'm writing equal sign here, but won't matter much. Twelve grams. Huh? So you may ask, I mean, if this much, this many carbon atoms weigh twelve grams, then that small, very very small carbon atom, it, this very small things. How many grams will it weigh? Huh? You can think of questions like that. I can write it down for you. For example, I'm writing this down once again to, for you to get the subject clearly. I mean, I may be repeating myself or I may be boring, but uh, being trying to teach, uh, being a part of, uh, being a teacher's is sometimes uh, sometimes requires things like that. <laughs> uh, six times twenty three to the power of ten means six zero 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 twenty three zeros here twenty three zeros here right this much carbon atom weigh only twelve grams then just a single, single, that very, very single carbon atom, which you can see with your eyes, that very small thing, will weigh, you, we may write it equals to, it will weigh, since this much carbon atoms weighs together 12 grams, only a single carbon atom will weigh 12 grams over 6, 
zero, 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 twenty-three zeros here, right? Twenty-three zeros. Which is in turn, let's do a little mathematical trick here, 12 over 6 times 10 to the 20, 23 to the power of 10, and we have one carbon atom, a single carbon atom, a single, I'm repeating myself to emphasize this uh, chord, one carbon atom is 12 grams over 6 times 20 to the power of 10 and with more mathematical tricks you can write it something like this this will simplify and we have 2 times this one 23 when it is written above it will be something like this which means which means which means Two divided by number a number with twenty three zeros, a very small, a very very small weight, huh? Okay, one carbon atom. Okay, this may be an introduction to the subject. We may go on later. Okay.